I just had a big ass fall like 25 minutes ago. I uh, I backed into this uh, detolf and I knocked over a ton of shit. But luckily, most of the stuff that I had like just set up didn't fall over. I haven't shown you guys nothing yet, but a, a ton of guys fell off of this, so it actually gave me uh, a little bit of reasoning to set this up a bit more. I've got some of my rogues gallery for Batman going right there. Um, Catwoman's got to find a place in there. Bane has got to find a place in there. Azrael's got to be in there. Um, he's sort of a villain, I guess. But, uh, yeah, for this tower, not much has been done. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this. You can't really see it all that well. Hold up. Um, just knocked over some cutouts, but that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> I know I'm professional, right, guys? But I don't care. <clears throat> Um, yeah, just kind of like some Brotherhood people. I'm still missing a couple of people that I want to put in there. I've got them, but I just haven't put them in. And I've got just some more ex-villains. This was going to be a whole cube. I haven't really done anything with it yet. Um, but yeah, this kind of, I kind of want to take it over more with the Batman-related stuff and get rid of my Street Fighters and maybe move them to somewhere else. I like my Street Fighters, but uh, I kind of want to sell them off because I really don't do much with them, and, uh, I don't know, they're really awesome figures, I just don't love them, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I was gonna do something with, the uh, Fantastic Four up here, but, uh, got Ghost Rider and something else right now. Um, <coughs> then right here, I just have my storage shelf. And then, <coughs> sorry guys, got a cough. Um, down here, this is my X-Force shelf. Got my Uncanny back there. Um, Finally assembled. Got uh, what they've made of the old school X-Force back there. Basically in that pose I have the that picture that I took last week. Or maybe it was this week, I don't even know. Um, then I've got, this all I really have of uh, Cyclops' X-Force. Although Ghost Rider wasn't really a part of it at all. But um, I wanted to put Warbat in here and I didn't know what else to do with him. So I just kind of stuck him in there with uh, Ghost Rider. Because him and the... Uh, Warpath did work together at some point. Um, and then this is just basically my Spider-Man villains area. Um, yeah, I'm I'm not really done with it because I'm still missing a few people. Um, I'm, I want to get in, uh, what's his name? Hobgoblin. Um, and I've got a couple more people I want to put in. Um, yeah, I also want to get the other Craven, the one from the box set that has like the wide open mouth because that'll make it look more like he's laughing. I kind of have Constrictor telling a joke there. Um, using their facial expressions to kind of tell emotion. Like uh, Constrictor's got that huge grin so it looks like he's kind of got a joke and then you can tell he's kind of like leaning over laughing on him and stuff. These guys just kind of look like they're having a discussion. I don't really know what Electro's doing with that. Um, I don't have the good Electro so I just kind of have him in that pose. Um, Scorpion's got that pissed off look. Um, I kind of have it being like Doc Ock was tapping him on the shoulder, so he thinks it's Sandman. Um, and then this is kind of supposed to be like uh, Green Goblin took Rhino's chair. Um, the Kingpin and Jigsaw are just kind of standing here. And then uh, Bullseye is sort of supposed to be like saying something like, uh, why would you call me here if they got guys like this type of thing, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I've made some progress on the tower. So, um, or the towers, I should say, so I'm happy about that. Um, I still got some more progress to do. I think with that Hulk cube, I still might keep it a Hulk cube. Um, and then with this one, I'm probably going to turn that into an X-Men related cube. Maybe do like an X-Men, uh, battle scene. Um, because I don't want just vanilla in all of these. Like, I mean, these two are a little bit more elaborate than vanilla. I mean, I want to actually put in some more props in here and stuff like that. <clears throat> Like, these two are a little bit more elaborate than Vanilla, because I kind of have them in poses and stuff like that, like back there. I really like how I have Psylocke leaning over. Um, they're all kind of looking at Deadpool's sword. Uh, but yeah, up here I'm probably going to do like some X-Men battle scene type thing. But, uh, yeah. forgot to also mention that I hit up the comic shop today, and I was able to get uh, Batgirl Annual number one. Um, I kind of just picked this up because it was really all that was out this week for me. Um, like, I haven't really gotten anything from Batgirl. Uh, I'm considering getting the Batgirl, uh, trade when it comes out. It actually might already be out, I don't really know. Um, 
But I like it because this is the first time that Catwoman and Batgirl kind of encounter each other, from what I've heard, so that'll be cool, hopefully. And then I was going to get year one today, but I only had 10 bucks on me. And then there was also a new trade that came out that was also 15 bucks. I don't remember what it was called, um, but it was like some pre-New 52 stuff, but still fairly modern. Um, but, uh, yeah. I just got to say... This was mad good. I really enjoyed this. Um, the art wasn't great for me. I mean, it's kind of similar to Clayton Crane's art. Um, just not quite as good. Um, it's pretty realistic. Uh, I would have liked it more if it had the cover artist, because I really like how he did this cover. But, um, yeah, it was like Batgirl's first time meeting up with Catwoman in the New 52. Um, and I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Catwoman showed her morals and stuff like that. Like, I always say, Catwoman's not a villain, she's an anti-hero, um, and even that might be pushing it, but, uh, yeah, this was damn good, like I said, um, but it also reminded me, because on the inside there was, uh, one of the previews for, uh, what's it called, Death of the Family, um, and it reminded me, I still gotta try and backtrack and pick up Catwoman 13 as well as Batgirl 13, because those were the other two books other than the Batman 13 that came out uh, in October that uh, are part of Death of the Family. They were both preludes, but uh, I missed them because when they came out, they sold out right away. And the only reason I was able to get Batman is because my shop picked up a ton of them. They had like probably 50 of them because everyone knows that that was going to sell. Um, so yeah, I got to backtrack and try and find Batgirl 13 and Catwoman 13. And I'm going to try and get everything that's part of Death of the Family. Although that, that that's a lot of books. Like, <clears throat> I just saw it one sec. Here it is. Look, like, October, we just had those three books. Then November, they add on one with Suicide Squad. And then December is when it hits. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight books coming out in December. And then January, we got the same, I believe... Actually, Suicide Squad has dropped from that, so just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't even know. And then in February, it's just uh, Batman. Uh, but looking at this, I'm pretty stoked. You know why? Because uh, it's November now, then it's December, so it's Halloween, and then January, so that's my birthday. Pretty stoked. Um, but uh, yeah. Definitely got to try and go back and get Batgirl and Catwoman. If the regular Batgirl book is like this, then it's probably pretty good. I really like the writing on this. It was good. Um, there was a few typos, oddly enough, but uh, it was funny. Catwoman said actually something pretty funny. She was like, uh, Batgirl was asking her something like, is it true what they say about you and uh, Green Arrow? And she's like, I never tell. So then Batgirl's like, uh, so that means it's true, right? And then Catwoman's like, uh, you just reminded me that a bullwhip is used for more unconventional things than climbing. And that just made me laugh. Because, <laughs> like, uh, when she said that, she was, like, attacking with it. But, uh, you, you guys know that. Well, you guys know what it means. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, good book. I'd suggest you guys pick it up.